Yeah. Welcome everybody. This is your boy Al. Fishing with Big Al. Welcome to my channel. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great evening. Hope everybody's doing good in their life. This is your boy, Al, of Fishing with Big Al. You know my YouTube channel to all my subscribers, the people that sending me likes. I love it. Uh, keep it going. Uh, hopefully, I can keep on doing what I'm doing. That's finding fish as I'm doing it. And now this is the grand finale of all, of all things. Went out, caught fish, um, cleaned fish, and now it is time to break bread and get ready to cook fish. So that is what we're gonna be doing this evening. Pretty much it's gonna be a simple do it yourself at home way of doing it the way I do it. I like mine simple, I'm not gourmet, I'm not all the fancy smancy things like that. I just like to get down and dirty with cooking my fish. Put some fries on the side, something nice to drink, and that's it. Watch me a little TV while I sit back and break bread. So that is what we're gonna be getting into. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the trout. I still got that in the refrigerator. It's, um, it's ready to go. I've had it sitting on ice water for a minute. So, um, it's yeah, it's ready to go. So basically, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to do some uh, trout. I'm going to cut it up into some small pieces like nuggets, kind of, sort of. And then I got some seasoning that I'm going to add to it. And then I got my oil, of course, which is canola to uh, fry it in, deep fry it. And that's going to be it, man. Real simple. So without further ado... Let's get this party going. All right, all right, so we are back. Um, a little bit of something, we had a little, little technical difficulty, so I'm gonna pick up where I left off at. I thought I had already had this set up where I was showing myself cutting them in fours, so that's what I did. Anybody with common sense, you get the message. I had two fillets sitting up here, um, so you can take these. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna keep, it, I'm gonna keep on doing, I'm keep going. All right, you can see already, this is what I had, right? I cut that in half. And I had this together, I cut that in half. So these are four squares, right? I was on the part where I was damping them in, in paper towel to get the moisture out of it, and then place it in my bowl or place it in my wrap that I'm gonna be using for the seasoning, all right? Which is the uh, Louisiana fish fry seasoned bread and mix. It's already got a uh, real lemon added to it, so it's got a lemon flavor to it, so I don't have to do anything like add any lemon pepper, which I do have. It's already seasoned. Louisiana is one of the best out there. So pick this up if you're ever looking to use a season. You can do it for your chicken. Uh, not this, but they got chicken um, fries as well. And both of them are great. So I love, I love using it for my seafood. But anyway, where I was at was I was taking the fish and putting it in a paper towel to get that moisture out of there, like so. Uh, let me get a bag. All right. So as I do these, I just take them and throw them in the Ziploc right quick. I got my oil already on. It's going. So we're good in that aspect. All right. Same thing again. Take another one. Damp it. And I cut these in four. So that's four pieces. Ready, Getting ready to go. here yeah and this is just removing any excess water from rinsing it off come again with that one last piece right there and this is trout this is speckled trout this was caught on thursday between thursday and friday but i want to say thursday for sure i know that it's not it wasn't sitting in the refrigerator long i just i did them thursday caught them on thursday filleted them up and then I was planning on cooking them, but of course I got caught up in fishing, more fishing and things like that. So after it's all said and done, you see that? That's how dry they are. They have no water, no moisture, nothing coming off of them. So we're done with that. Now the only thing I'm gonna do is, 
Like I say, I shoot it from the hip. So basically, take this uh, fish fry we got right here, which is by Louisiana. It's already got the lemon flavor to it. I don't have to add anything to it, and trust me, you don't, because I've used this before, and you do not have to add anything to it. The season is perfect. We're just gonna pour some in this bag. All right. Try to get up in there. And that should be enough to coat all four pieces, man. Sometimes I overdo it where well, I sit there and have to have a uh, season left. And that is, oh shoot, which is a no-no. So should be good, these four pieces right here. So now we got that, those are done. So that's all coated, ready to go. Now we got my ninja over here, my old trusted buddy, which is the Ninja Air Fryer. I love this. I got what? One, two, three. I got three all together, but I mainly use this Ninja. The other ones I bought, and then, you know, once you get something, you get it, and you're like, ah, I really don't like this. So that is what the thing is. Everybody always say what they like, and the Ninja is the best to me, so that's what I love. I kept the other ones, because you never know. You might want to use them just to have something to do and remind you why you don't like it. <laughs> why I like the Ninja instead. I was like, oh, that's why I bought the Ninja, because these other ones suck. That is my opinion on that. And with the air fryer, what I'm going to do is use that for my fries. So right now, all right, so there you go. You got the four golden brown right there. That's almost like anything good, baby. You can't say anything bad about that. Look at that. Ready to eat, right? So that's home cooking at its finest. The way that you want to eat it, just make sure it's fresh and it's done, and you're good. So now I'm just waiting on my fries to get done cooking. But these are four pieces of trout, and I cooked them up. I put some cocktail sauce, a little bit of malt vinegar on it, and she should be good. Some pickle on the side, and man, that's my dinner right there for the night. So with that said, this is your boy Al, fishing with Big Al, that is, and I'm out. Peace. Now, when it's all done, here is the finishing product. We got fish and chips, we got pickle on the side, I got my cocktail sauce, I got my drink, so it's about to go down. So this is what I like to do when I'm at home, man. I'm just a person that loves to cook for myself. Uh, me and my wife, we sit home, we cook for each other, things like that. This time she had already ate because we had pizza, so she had a craving for that. I said, I'm gonna go ahead and cook my fish and go ahead and uh, finish this up because I had caught this trout on Thursday, so I gotta cook it and get it, and get it eaten. Before it, goes too, before it goes bad. So, therefore, this is done. So I got fish and chips, I got my drinks, I got my pickle on the side, I got my cocktail sauce. It's a Sunday, we finally got rain down here in Corpus Christi, so it's a beautiful day. Even though we love the sun, we still need that rain because that drought is real. And uh, we've been without rain for months. So basically, now it rained today and we got enough for the plants and everything in the backyard is good. So wife is happy, I'm happy. Happy wife, happy life. So, y'all know what I mean, fellas. So here we go. Well, anyway, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to break. And this is trout, spec trout, fries on the side, Louisiana seasoning, Louisiana cocktail sauce. Um, I think, what's the name of this juice I got? This is gonna be, man, if y'all don't drink this, at Minute Maid Zero, man, this is the truth right here. The mango passion, love that, so. Got that on the side, love that. I put some ketchup on my fries because I still got to have ketchup on my fries. I'm still a ketchup person when it comes to my fries. And uh, other than that, man, I just want to thank everybody. Like and subscribe. I hope this looks delicious to you. If it doesn't, shoot a comment. I got thick skin. You're not going to bother me. But I know I'm not going to get no bad comments because a lot of people like what I do. They like this right here, so we good. Everybody eats this way. So here you go, man. I hope everybody's having a good day. God bless. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscribes. And uh, everybody keep it moving. Keep it pushing. Whatever lane you in, stay in that lane if you're satisfied with it. Don't let nobody take you out your lane. Enjoy your life to the fullest. And everybody try to live in peace. Let's try to get back some of that. And uh, in your name we pray. Amen. I'm out. Peace.